hello beautiful people you're welcome to my channel and if this is your first time i'm gift god's time by name you're welcome and to all my returning subscribers thank you for your support so today's tutorial i'm going to be teaching you how to make this shift dress with a bell sleeve kindly stay tuned i'll be using this cotton ankara fabric which is two and a half yards for this project and for the back if you notice i used a button so i'll be using this shiny like button for it i'm going to start by drafting the back part so to get the distance in which you are going to fold your fabric because this fabric is on fold you take your hip measurement divide by four then you're going to add three inches for ease so now i'll be drawing my starting line Next, I'm going to impute my shoulder measurement, which is 14 divided by 2. That gives me 7. And then I'll be taking the neck width of 3 inches and the depth will be 1 inch. Next, I'm going to connect the two lines to give me a U round shape neckline. So now I'm going to take my shoulder slant. I'm going to come down by one inch and connect it from that my shoulder point to my neck line region. Now from that point, I'm going to take my armhole depth, which is 7.5 inches, and I'm going to connect it with a straight row. So once I get my 7.5 inch, I'm going to make sure that it aligns properly with my shoulder measurements, which is seven. That is what I'm doing right there. So I'm going to connect it now with the help of the ruler. Next, I'm going to extend the line, as you can see from the video, so that I'll be able to impute my boss measurements. Right now, I'm taking the midpoint of that seven and a half inches we took for the armhole. So by the time I get my midpoint, I'll indicate it. Then I'm going to take my bust measurement divide by four. So whatever value I get, I'm going to also mark it. That's what I'm doing. And then I'm going to connect these two points together from that bust measurement all the way to that midpoint. Next, I'll be adding one and a half inches from that extended line because I'll be using half inch for sewing and one inch will be used for the ease of the dress. So I'll be taking all vertical lines now. I'll start my tip from my shoulder point. So I'm marking my bust region, which is 10 inches. Next, I'm going to be marking my waist region, which is 17 inches. And then I'll be marking my hip region. So from that 17 inches, you can mark nine inches. That nine inches is the distance from your waist to your hip region. So you can also take the measurements on your body as well. Yours can be eight or yours can be more than nine. So I'm going to have to extend all the lines. So next I'll be taking my full length. I'll be using 39 inches for it. I also add the um, one inch for hemming the bottom. So now I'm going to move the fabric up to get all my measurements now. So that is the bust line. I'm still going to extend it from the armhole because it's still the same measurements. So now from the waist region, I'm going to take my waist measurement divide by four. Whatever value I get, I'm going to add extra three inches this is for ease so i'm also going to do the same thing at the hip region so i'm just going to connect the lines now as i proceed so by the time i get to the hip region i'm going to take my hip measurement divide by four whatever measurement i get i'm going to also add extra three inches so i'll also connect the line from the waist region down to my hip Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to measure the hip line. I'm going to measure the distance of the hip part. And I'm going to be adding extra one inch for it. So I got 12 and a half. So for the bottom part, I'm going to add extra one inch to it. So I'll be marking 13 and a half inches 
for the distance you can also use the same 12 and a half inch at the bottom but i just want mine to have this effect so that's why i'm doing it so i'll connect the lines together and then i will proceed in cutting it out right now i'm cutting out the neckline and the shoulder part so we are done with the back body so this is it this is it when it's open because it was on fold while i cut it out i will not be doing a full lining for the back parts i'll be cutting out a facing for it so i've gone ahead to cut out my facing and i did that by folding my fabric in two and also the fabric i'm using for the facing part so i traced the neckline and then i extended this other part where i will that will have the opening i extended it to six inches and then i just curve it down so this is how i'll be placing my facing i'm going to open my main fabric and then also the facing so i'm going to place it right side facing right side as you can see from the video and then i will sew it when i get to the midpoint i will extend it downwards and continue so i will do a little illustration for you so from the midpoint i'm going to go down by three inches so i'm just marking it there then i'm going to connect it with my straight row the three inches next i'm going to be adding half half inch on both sides so that's what i will do i'll add half inch on both sides I'll connect it all the way to the three inches and I, when I get to that three inches part I'll connect it with a curve rule, as you can see so what I'll be doing I'll be sewing from the shoulder when I get to that point I'll sew all the way down and continue like that now as you're sewing you're going to attach your loop so I'm using this strip of two inches and I'm going to twist it like so and then form a loop out of it and then attach it to one part so this is how i'm going to be sewing it by the time i get to this point so i'm going to sew over there i'm not going to um step over on the loop so i'm going to sew it properly so i'm done sewing it i'm going to cut that mid point and then i'm just going to give it a notch all through so by the time i flip it over it will lie properly so I'm done with it and then I'm flipping it over so you go ahead to give it a good press and when you're done you also fix your button or pearls that you want to attach it with so as you can see it's looking beautiful so we are done with the back part of this dress we'll proceed to the front part so firstly I'm going to draw my starting line next i'm going to impute my shoulder measurement which is 14 divided by 2 that gives me 7. i'll be taking a neck width of 3 inches and the depth i'll be using four and a half inches and i'll connect those two lines to give me a u-shaped neckline now for this front part we are focusing on the upper part which is the yoke um, this will guide us in how to draw the down part Next, I'm going to be coming down by one inch to get my shoulder slope and I'll connect it to the neckline. Next, I'm going to impute my armhole depth, which is seven and a half. And I'm just making sure over there to know that it's still seven with aligned with the shoulder. So I'll connect the lines together and then extend this other line. This is my chest line. Like I said earlier, this is the yoke in which we are going to be creating the basket. So we don't need a full scale body. So from the chest line, I'll be going down by one inch. Next, I'm going to impute my bust measurement divide by four. And the figure I got, I'm just indicating it over there. Next, I'm adding one and a half inches. The dress is a free dress. So half inch for my sewing and one inch for ease and i'll connect it to that extended one inch line i gave below the reason i'm using one and a half inches for both sewing and ease is so that that chest region your boss region will not be too open too exposed so what i'm doing right there is i took 
um the midpoint of that armhole line and i'll be going inward by half inch and then i'll connect all three lines as you can see from the video so this is the yoke part i'll be using for this basket weave I'll go ahead to cut out this part I have drawn. So this is the yoke part we'll be using for the basket effect. Now I'm going to fold it in two, as you can see from the video. Next, I'm going to fold my fabric in two, and then I'm going to place this yoke. I'm going to um, use my pin to place it on top to give me that guide to trace out my boss region, my waist region my hip region and the full length so this yoke aid as a guide so i'm going to be starting my shoulder measurement to get my bust region which is 10 inches and then i'm also going to get my waist region hip region the same way i did for that of the back part so i'm going to indicate all vertical lines and then next i'm going to extend the lines so that i'll be able to impute my measurements so right now i'll be putting my measurements the armhole is the same thing with the boss measurements so next i'm going to take my waist measurement and add extra three inches so i'm going to take my hip measurement divide by four and add extra three inches the same way i did for the back parts as well so that's what i'm going to do then I took my hip measurement, divide by four, add three inches, got the measurements, add extra one inch to the bottom part and connect all lines and then cut it out. So when I'm done, I'm going to remove my pin out because that is for the yoke. So this is how your front part will be. That is, I will do the basket with there. So I'm done the basket with. I'm going to attach this now to my down part of the front part. <laughs> so this is it. This is what I'm trying to explain. So I'm going to join the two of them right side facing right side and I'm going to sew it down. After that, next I'm going to take my front part and the back part and I'm going to attach join them together front side facing front side as well and then for the shoulder parts this is how i'm going to match them so i'm going to use this um, facing to seal it up so that at the end i will have a good finishing so i'm done sewing and i have a neat finishing next we'll proceed to the sleeve part of this dress this is my basic sleeve pattern for long sleeve. I have a detailed tutorial on my YouTube channel and I'm going to drop the link in the description box below. So that is the front part and this is the back part. That is the midpoint. So right now I'm going to draw a straight row from the midpoint all the way down because we'll be slashing this um, sleeve it will be a slash and spread method because i want the down part to be wide so i'm done connecting the lines next i'm going to take the midpoint of this other part once i get the midpoint i'm going to mark it and then also extend their lines all the way to the top because i'll be cutting it open and then spreading on another pattern paper so now I'll proceed to cut it out and while cutting i'm not going to cut it off by the time i get to the top part as you can see i'm going to stop so this is it next i'm going to take a different pattern paper and i'll be placing this one i just slash on this new pattern paper and i've gone ahead to spread it so now i'm using six inches all through so i'm measuring from the bottom part so they must be even not that you measure six inches here and two inches there so i've gone ahead to cut it out and this is the sleeve i'll be working with so this is the sleeve being opened what i did was i came down by nine inches from the top that is where i want my um, basket to start and i'll be using 
four inches for this basket for the sleeve i want the width how long it should be i want it to be four inches so i'll go ahead to mark four inches and draw a straight line so the midpoint that is where we're going to be doing our basket with so the other two i'm going to cut my fabric on it so i'm just going to labor it so that i don't get confused that is the front part so by the time i'm aligning it they will all align properly so i'll go ahead to cut it out remember that that midpoint is for my basket weave and i have a well detailed tutorial on how to achieve this basket weave on both the sleeve and that of the upper part of the dress the yoke part so next i'm going to attach the basket weave to these other two parts and then i'm going to sew all the way down as you can see me illustrating with my hands so after doing that i'm also going to sew the sides and then lastly i'm going to hem the bottom part of the sleeve now we can remove the paper parts so and you'll be able to see the beauty of the artwork the beauty of the basket sleeve i mean the basket weave so this is it this is how beautiful it is i've also attached our sleeve to the main dress itself so this is the beauty of the dress and then next i'm going to be removing the paper from the yoke and i'm done with it so this is the dress the dress is done so if you've come this far if you've watched this far please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you are yet to see you in my next tutorial